Assalamu alaikum, bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, guys, as I told you that I'm solving the question of the past paper of the AP Calculus 2018, and now I move to question number 11. Now we are going to solve question number 11, integration of x cos 2x dx, right? This is a question of section 1. Now you will see x cos 2x. Here in this question, you will find that we have two function, x which is called a linear function, you can say, and cos 2x, which is a trigonometric function. And remember one thing in your mind that whenever in the question of integration, you will see two function, okay, uh, in the form of product, right? For example, x cos 2x, right? This is cos 2x. So whenever you see two, a function like trigonometric functions, algebraic functions, or you can say algebraic functions, trigonometric functions, exponential functions, logarithmic functions, any functions, right? And they are written in the form of the product, okay? Then we have a, a rule, I'm going to tell you, by that rule you can solve the question easily, right? So I'm going to tell you, so here this is algebraic function and this is what trigonometric function. So whenever you see, look, one more thing, in derivative, in derivative, whenever you have uh, two function in the form of uh, product, then order is not important, okay? And we use the product rule. But here in integration, there is no product rule. I'm going to tell you there is one product if two functions are written in form of the product. So <clears throat> that rule is called I late. So I'm going to solve this question. This is answer. Okay. So the rule is I late I L A T E I late I for inverse inverse function L for logarithmic functions A for algebraic functions T for T means trigonometric function and E stand for uh, exponential functions. So if you see such function in this order, then we will consider that this is the first function, right? So here, as you say, the first one is inverse. So inverse is not here, right? So ignore that one. Now the second thing is log, and here is no log. So ignore the logarithmic functions. Now we move to A. A means algebraic functions, right? So this is algebraic function, this is trigonometric function, this is exponential function. So algebraic function means x, x is here, right? So we will say that this x is A, means this x is your first function, right? And this cos 2x, which are a trigonometric function, that will be a second function, this is the second one, right? So this is the first one and this is the second one. So I'm going to write down the, the formula that if you see two two functions in integral, right? So the question is, uh, just write down the first one is out, means x out. Integration of, integration of the second function, which is cos 2x dx, okay? This is the first part, right? And then you have to use the minus sign, right? It's the minus sign. <clears throat> I'm going to solve this question, integration by parts. So this is minus, and then you have to write the bigger bigger integral, right? So you can say <clears throat> this one, and then you have to write d by dx, d by dx of the first function. This is what is the first function here? This x. So write down x, and then multiply. Then again a small integration, and then this is the same thing. Second function cos 2x dx, and then dx. You can see <clears throat> this dx. I'm going to write down this dx is for this one and this dx is for this one right so this is the formula this is for integration by parts okay we will solve this question using integration by parts why because in my questions two functions are written in product form right okay <clears throat> now uh, I'm going to solve this question so this is what x right and cos 2x okay so just consider here this is x so integration of cos 2x, right? So whenever you see cos 2x, 3x, 4x, so this will be 1 by 2. And integration of cos is sine x, right? So you can say sine 2x, okay? I'm going to write down here. Integration of cos, two, uh, cos x. Integration of cos x dx is what? A sine right and integration of what sine x 
dx, which is minus cos x. Okay, well, <coughs> I have written 2 here because 2 is the coefficient here, right? Minus d by dx x, which is 1, and the same thing, integration of cos 2x is 1 over 2 sine 2x, and this is dx, right? So, again, we can say this is x by 2 uh, sine 2x, and this is minus 1 by 2 is the constant, so this is out, and again, you have what? Sine 2x dx. So we can say x over 2 sine 2x minus 1 by 2. And integration of sine 2x I have written here, which is what minus cos x. So this minus, I'm going to write down here, minus 1 over 2 cos 1. This is cos, right? So you can say it's cos 2x. So, <coughs> and then we'll say this is finished. So we write plus c, right? So this will be what x by 2 sine 2x minus minus plus which is 4 and it will be 1 by 4 cos 2x plus c we can say x by 2 uh, x 1 by 2 means x by 2 sine 2x plus 1 by 4 cos 2x plus c this is the final answer of the given question and here we see this answer is what d so you can say the answer d is correct okay so this way the answer is D. I hope guys you all understand. So you have a problem, just write down the comments. When we have a time, we will solve. And please watch my next video. Assalamu alaikum.